for tonight, what I want to make is a very crispy kind of pan fried tofu with lots of good crunch. Um, we're going to then add that to a stir fry of pretty much all green beans and a really, really simple sauce. There's a handful of stir fry sauces that I come back to over and over again, but one of the best, simplest stir fry sauces I've ever had is this very simple emulsion of a reduced soy sauce and butter. It's wonderful and it's two ingredients. So let's take a look at our mise en place. We've got tofu, which is going to get dusted in a little bit of cornstarch for crunch, green beans, and then for our sauce, we just have ginger, garlic, some whole black peppercorn that I just spilled and that will crush after I finish picking them all up and some crushed red pepper. I'm still picking up. Soy sauce and our butter. Oh, and a 20 pound bag of rice. That's how we do it. Um, Batsmati probably isn't the best choice for this, but use it for everything. Um, so that's what we're gonna have because we have 20 pounds of it. And that's it. Servings per container, 200. First off, and what's most time consuming is prepping the tofu. Like I said, this is a crispy tofu. It is a very crispy tofu. And the enemy of crisp is moisture and tofu is packed in water and these things don't match. So we are going to, before we do anything else, do everything we can to get as much water as possible out of this tofu. I'm gonna take it out of the package, drain it, um, lay it inside of this very clean and fresh kitchen towel and put some cookbooks to work, weighing it down um, so it can be squeezing water out while we prep everything else. So while the tofu is being pressed, I'm getting it started on the rice because that's the second most time consuming part of this. Do you remember how long we stood and talked about whether we could eat 20 pounds of rice? I didn't think it was possible. You didn't think it was possible because you're a fool. It's been probably 30 minutes that we've had the tofu sitting under these books and I cannot express enough to you how heavy and damp and wet this kitchen towel is. Universally for pretty much any crispy tofu situation, I never ever take a knife to it. I always opt to tear it. This method works really, really well for mushrooms as well. Um, but basically, if what we want is crispiness, then maximizing the surface area is gonna give you the most crunch. So tearing the tofu is gonna give you these incredible, like craggly bits and get crunchier and more wonderful and more delicious. So I'm gonna just use my hands and gently tear these into bite-sized pieces. Bite size, is no bite size is relative. And according to an ENT I saw, my mouth is way too small for my tongue, which is why I snore a lot. Let's not bring up my snore score. Anyway, so I'm, my bite size might be smaller than your bite size is the point I'm making here. When this transitions to a lifestyle blog, we'll talk about my snore score. I was in the 20s last night. It's pretty good. So I've got all of my tofu torn up into bite sized pieces. I'm just gonna take some cornstarch and dredge them a little bit. I've had a pan preheating over here the whole time. Um, I'm going to fill it with a really thin layer of avocado oil. Um, any neutral oil is great. Canola, vegetable, like anything. Grapeseed is all gonna be great here.
Allison's in the frame. I don't think she knows it. Okay, so the tofu's looking great. I have it on a paper towel over here. It looks beautiful, it looks crispy. I'm super happy with it. Um, I've got some amount of garlic. There's probably six of them. It's maybe more. I don't know, it it's fine. Seven. It was seven? It was seven. And then I have some amount of ginger. That's the Jurassic Park theme song. <laughs> so in the same pan where we crisp up the tofu, I'm going to bring a little bit more neutral oil up to a warm place. Not a ton, um, because we're gonna add a lot of fat later with the butter, um, but a little bit just to conduct heat. Um, and then we will put all of these green beans Get going. Da -na 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 -na. Ready? Oh. For the green beans, I'm gonna use a technique that I cannot for the life of me remember where I learned it. It was from a book sometime between 2009 and 2012. Is that helpful? But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the green beans, get them most of the way there. Um, I'm gonna add some garlic and peppers and ginger at that point. Um, but then we're gonna put some amount of soy sauce onto them. And we're gonna let as much moisture as possible evaporate out of there. So you get this like salty, unctuous, delicious sludge. Then once everything's looking a little dry and super delicious and the green beans are cooked through, we'll cut the heat and we'll constantly stir in a pat of butter and let that emulsify in everything else that's going on there. So our rice is done, green beans are looking beautiful. I'm going to take our plate of crispy tofu and fold that into it, get them saucy, and then we'll plate it up with the rice. Gorgeous green bean stir fry with crispy tofu, a soy butter emulsion, and white rice. That's obscenely perfect. The tofu's crunchy. The green beans still have some snap. It's not like super overdone. Sauce, spicy. It's velvety, it's rich from the butter. That's, that's fantastic. I recommend. That's really good. Mmm.